Good evening. I'm Dr. Adams King, the superintendent of the Farrell Area School District. On March 13, 2020, the governor of Pennsylvania ordered that all schools across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania be closed due to a global pandemic. When our schools were closed that day, we had no idea that this cruel, novel coronavirus would prohibit our doors from opening for the remainder of the school year. Since then, we have worked diligently to try to come up with a way to adequately celebrate our seniors, while at the same time, keeping everyone safe and trying to avoid the spread of this virus. What you're about to witness is the Farrell Area School District's first virtual commencement ceremony. It is the culmination of at least three days of taping in order to allow our students and a limited number of family members to receive their diplomas in a, in a traditional manner while at the same time maintaining safety and allow them to walk across the stage and still get their feral diploma. By doing this, it allowed three things to occur. Number one, it allowed our seniors to receive their diplomas in a manner that comes as close as possible under the current circumstances to maintaining the feral tradition. Number two, it allowed parents and family members to witness their sons and daughters receive their diplomas in a formal manner. This is a special moment in the lives of our students and their families that we did not want to deprive them of. And number three, it allowed us to see our students one more time in person and to share this monumental occasion with them. So, even though we cannot gather in a large crowd and hold our traditional commencement ceremony, the creation of this video enables well-wishers both near and far to see our students graduate and to celebrate with them. In addition to our own administrators, our director of technology, our staff, our board president, I want to extend a special thank you to Mr. Chad Folsom and Mr. Justin Lewis for helping to make this video possible and making this virtual experience a reality. I hope you'll enjoy it and I believe you will. And in closing, let me say this on behalf of the Farrell Area School District to the class of 2020, it's been a joy, it's been a privilege Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you all for attending our first virtual graduation and also to welcome you to the Farrell Area School District's 117th commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. All of the students you are going to see tonight have spent the past 13 years working hard in the classroom to get to where they are today. We want to thank all of the parents, 
guardians, and family members who have helped these fine students along their path to this monumental day. My hope is that each of you find your path in life and become productive members of this great country. The greatest opportunities life has to offer comes through adversity. There are many detours in life, but sometimes, even though we may not know it at the time, they are meant for our good. When those times come, seize your moment. Then give back to the community who has helped you make it to this day. We wish you nothing but the best this world has to offer. Thank you. Good evening. The class of 2020 can be defined as resilient and survivors. Many of you were born the year 9-11 occurred in the United States and saw the first African-American president in Barack Obama to be elected for two terms. A TV reality show elected president in Donald Trump. In your local life at Furrow High School, you have seen the transition from Coach Samuels to Coach McGee's. In basketball, you've seen court Coach Shannon House to Coach Stewart. You were part of some amazing accolades at Furrow High School, such as 100% academic growth in biology, and also witnessed and seen several female students go to a state competition and be awarded first place for, on behalf of the Department of Transportation. You were also part of the back-to-back -back state championships in football. You were the first senior class to see the results of a $10 million renovation project, to have a steam lab, to have new lockers, central air put in. In the end, as I stated earlier, the class of 2020 is resilient and survivors. Keep reaching for the stars and working hard reach, and reaching for the goals in your life. Know that your family, teachers, and administrators are here for you. At this time, will Kalia Knight, president of the class of 2020, please come to the podium. As we move from darkness, the part of the world where all is hidden, and move into the light, we find what, what was once hidden from us. The light grows as we learn more and make our lives more efficient and productive. That light represents knowledge, knowledge about how the world works and how we must function as we move through life. Much of that knowledge was gained through the years we spent here at Farrell High School. Through the nurturing and care of the teachers and staff, we have made that light grow. This candle represents that light, that knowledge. I now pass it on to the class of 2021. For you it glows, even brighter as you move towards your graduation. Kalia, on behalf of the class of 2021, I accept this light and the challenge that goes with it. As always, we will uphold the fine tradition established by Farrow High School. We wish the class of 2020 the best as you take this light and commence your journey through life. Have a safe and happy life filled with wonderful experiences and always remember Farrow High School. To the Farrow Board of Education, Superintendent Laura Adams King, Mr. Wiesen, Mr. Fowler, Mr. Vecchio, Ms. Wright and the Falcon, entire faculty, the parents, and you, the class of 2020. I just want to leave something with you. It takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. You are leaving behind what society deems you and moving into adulthood. It really does take courage to face yourself and to decide who you are and who you want to be. This is a great time to do some serious reflecting so that you can make choices that will set you on the right path to becoming who you decide you want to be. As I have done in previous years, I left this quote with all classes, and that is, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all you do. So may God bless the class of 2020, and may God bless the entire Ferro Area School District. To Principal Fowler, Vice Principal Vecchia, Reverend Harrison, and members of the Board of Education, to the 
parents, faculty members, and friends, and finally to the class of 2020. Good evening. To the class of 2020, you are a class that we will always remember not just because you are the 117th graduating class of this school district, not only because you are the class whose senior year was cut short by a global pandemic, not just because you are the first class to experience a virtual lifestyle, graduation ceremony, classes, Zoom meetings, etc. It's not only because of the aforementioned attributes that you will be remembered, but it's because of how you handled them. For the most part, you have navigated uncharted waters like veteran sailors. You graciously accepted the culmination of your senior year, even though it was like unlike any other senior year ever experienced by your predecessors. And you've also helped introduce us to a whole new way of doing things. There's an expression which states that our Creator will not put more upon us than we can bear. And if that saying is true, and I believe that it is, it is quite possible that no other class could have endured what you have endured the way you have endured it. Because of your strength, perseverance, resilience, and grace, we are counting on you to make amazing contributions, not just to your community, but to a global society. And so as you leave us this evening and lead the way, know that we are always in your corner, supporting you and cheering you on. And so on behalf of the Farrell Area School District, to the class of 2020, Congratulations, best wishes. We're counting on you, and we celebrate you. It gives me great pride to announce our class of 2020 of Farrell High School, Ronald LaCamera, to give his salutatorian speech. Hello, my name is Ronald LaCamera Jr. And today I would like to thank everyone for coming to the graduation ceremony today, ce celebrating my classmates and I. Although before this, I would like to congratulate my fellow classmates on making it to this point, especially with everything going on. And though of, in the thought of dropping out because of the circumstances of the virus, the time of the virus is so unplanned and it has prohibited us from experiencing many things that previous year seniors have done. Aside from this, class of 2020 was in the past looked over and doubted and brought down by many people that tried to crush everyone's dreams. Although throughout elementary and high school, we were the class with a vision and one that put forth hard work but also had a funny self-esteem. The exhibition of passion that we as a class protrude has inspired me to say these words today. We are a class that I believe have been defined by the past and have overcome the bad accusations that we were said about us many years ago. Like the quote says, do not dwell on the past, but pave the way for a brighter future. I tend to vigorously look upon this quote, because although we have experienced many things that could have brought us down in the past, we have strived through that and will plan ourselves for a greater future. We are a class that can be considered a doctor, lawyer, nurse, business owner, engineer, teacher, and even professional athlete. This means that we will need the key ideas of this thing called life, and they are dedication, investment, and discipline. We need these traits throughout our whole life and everything if we are planning to be successful. Although success is not just in money wealth, it's also in your knowledge, which can be a struggle at times, but luckily we have our support systems, which include parents, friends, grandparents, teachers, guidance counselors, mentors, and administrators. My support team includes many people, in which I am so thankful for, and they are not all biologically related to me, but I see them as my extended family. And these are the people that push me to thrive and accomplish my goals of becoming a doctor, 
Now, when I got the call telling me that I had become the salutatorian, I was a bit nervous and kind of still am. Although to keep the high school spirit alive with senioritis, we all know I finished this speech in a timely manner, actually last minute. I thought that writing this speech was going to be fairly easy, such as just like writing an essay, which I have done plenty of times. It was not as easy as I thought though. Although aside from this, I would like to thank, I would like to talk to you guys about this thing called life. And in this life you encounter many challenges and chapters that strengthens you for your purpose, which in the bigger picture is your goals that you have set for yourself. Graduating from high school seems like it is a main chapter in your life, although I see it as, and although it is just chapter one. Because you are transforming from your childish teen ways into a young adult, that you will soon begin your their future career. I see life as a, as a mountain. The higher you climb, the harder and harder it becomes for you to breathe. Although this is just an, an analogy on how life is. The older you become, your responsibility levels tend to rise and just keep rising and rising until you and until you tend on making your own life decisions. Now as my speech comes to an end, I would like to thank everyone for coming again and say congratulations one more time to my fellow classmates. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. Give me great pride to announce our 2020 Farrell High School's valedictorian Melvin Hobson. Six short years ago, I was up on this exact same stage to give my speech for sixth grade recognition day. It feels a lot more like six months ago, to be honest. I can remember elementary school like it was yesterday. Playing that ball with Mr. Fowler and Mr. Schroeder every day, uh, joking with Mr. T, or my personal favorite, trash talking with my classmates before our Little League baseball game. After elementary school, I left and was at Charlottesville for a few years. After meeting some cool people there and having some great experiences, there was always something in the back of my mind drawing me back to Farrell. So at the end of my sophomore year, my mom and I headed into the school to enroll me back at Farrell. I was leaning against the counter while talking with Mr. Fowler for the first time in a few years, and finally, I stand up completely. Mr. Fowler just dropped whatever he was talking about and starts laughing, saying, this is going to be the easiest state championship I had ever witnessed realizing how much I've grown since sixth grade. A few minutes later, in a group of students led by my best friends in second grade are unsurprisingly wandering the halls instead of in class. Dwight and all of them come running in the office surprised to see me back. After messing around with them for a little, uh, shortly they all left. And another classmate of mine walks in who wasn't quite as happy to see me. Cameron Gibson looks at me and asks if I was coming back. I laughed and said yes. And she was a little upset as she remembered who the valedictorian was in sixth and eighth grade, making her chances a little bit harder. Sorry, Cameron. Uh, it was nice to see that other than me being taller than Mr. Fowler, not much had changed since I left. Fast forward to the start of junior year, and it felt like I had never left at all. It felt good to finally be back at home. School was fine and all, but I'd be lying if I said the best part of high school was in these last two football seasons. There's no feeling like bringing a state title to your city. And to be able to do that twice for the City of Champions is something I will cherish for the rest of my life. I'll miss the bus rides to and from practice to the games with all my teammates just messing around, doing dumb stuff, and having to ride a practice the next day because of it. I'll miss going to war on Friday nights and leaving it all on the field with my brothers. I'll even miss Coach Ann making us run endless four corners and sprints in the 90 degree heat. Nothing compares to the bond a football team has gone but nothing compared to the bond a football team that has gone through adversity and hard work together in the past. And the, 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 team, the team's bond this year was unbreakable. And I want to thank all you guys for helping make my senior year so special and helping me end it on top. It was my, an honor for my junior year to play for the greatest and most talented team in Mercer County history. And if I had the chance to start my senior season over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I got so much closer with a lot of people this year, teammates, underclassmen, and most importantly, a lot of my classmates. So for that, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who made this year so fun and special. I'll never forget the time I spent at Farrell High School, even if it was cut short due to the virus. Not that we can, there's nothing we can do now to change our certain circumstances. Life happens, for better or for worse, and you just gotta keep going. At the end of the day, the only thing that truly matters right now is one thing. Farrell High Class of 2020, we made it. Congratulations to all of you, 
best of luck to you in your future, wherever it takes you. Thank you. Over the years, Farrell High School has created a tremendous track record for helping to create amazing graduates. Tonight, you will get the opportunity to meet and hear one of those amazing individuals that is a proud member and alumnus of Farrell High School. Jennifer Ray Myers is a proud alumni of Farrell High School's class of 2005. After high school, she earned her bachelor's in communication disorders at Bowling Green University in Ohio. Later, she obtained her master's in communication sciences and disorders at Howard University to become a medical speech language pathologist. In 2012, Jennifer returned to Howard to earn a doctorate in neuropsychology with a minor of cognitive psychology. Currently, she works as a research communication scientist for the Department of Defense through the Geneva Foundation. There she conducts research on linguistic markers of traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder symptomology, which has garnered several national awards. In addition to research, Jennifer serves as psychology instructor for the Princeton Review and recently published the first part of her three-part visual anthology entitled, I Speak, Therefore I Am. Last year, she founded the Raymond Banks Away With Words Foundation, a grassroots nonprofit organization that provides free expressive arts programs to undeserved communities in Maryland. At this time, will you please help me welcome Dr. Jennifer Myers as this year's 2020 commencement speaker. Thank you, Mr. Fowler, um, and thank you to Dr. Adams King, as well as the school board, uh, for such an honor to give this year's commencement address. Uh, I truly am grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I actually did not prepare a formal written speech, not because I, I came unprepared. I do have some points that I, I know I want to say. Uh, in realizing that, in fact, I would be able to give this year's commencement address a couple weeks ago, uh, I decided I, I didn't want this speech to be uh, profound and well-written, given the circumstance, that I wanted it to be conversational. I wanted uh, no revisions or perfectly placed words of wisdom, just raw and real-time words and thoughts, much like this moment today. I also reflected on my own commencement now 15 years ago when I stood likely in this very spot as class president uh, in which I centered my speech around our class motto. Today is the tomorrow we dreamt of yesterday. And while certainly this is not quite the dream you had in mind yesterday, I do hope that you know that uh, there are many more stages waiting for you to cross. For some, it's literally as you go off to college, to uh, Votech school, cosmetology school, even the military. Uh, I'll do a shameless shout out to my baby sister, Honesty, who is part of this graduating class and will be uh, going off to serve in the Navy. Love you, sister. And to all of you who will cross various stages of life, stages of opportunity, of accomplishments, of accolades. And so while I certainly don't want to dismiss this moment, um, I do hope you realize that this is uh, merely a drop in the bucket of many more stages to cross. Certainly not your last, uh, and certainly not your biggest. I also want you to know that there's something eerily beautiful about things not going to plan. Uh, that's what may start out as disappointment, uh, becomes this drive to be more intentional in your purpose, uh, and less stagnant that what may be initial feelings of frustration or confusion uh, foster this heightened sense of creativity uh, and innovation. I don't want to stand here and try and give you words of wisdom. Uh, despite the fact that I did graduate uh, 15 years ago, I, I don't feel I'm old enough or more experienced enough really to give you that type of advice. But I do want to offer a few suggestions. The first being to try and do things that you think you cannot do. I think you'll be presently surprised at the outcome, more often than not. And even if you should fail, 
that, that feeling of failure is far less painful than that burden and weight of what if. I also suggest that you be obnoxiously kind, like obnoxiously kind, not only to others, but to yourself. Regardless of what you've done or what has been done to you, there's no one who is more deserving of your love and your kindness than you are. I, I know that some speakers uh, often talk about how they started from the bottom and now they're here. Uh, I won't be one of them, despite my love for Drake. Uh, I feel like you already have this sense of what it takes to be great. And so I won't bore you with the details. I believe that you know that it's merely the difference between taking action when an opportunity arises or being apathetic towards it. Instead, I want to talk about something that I think is uh, important and should be celebrated, and that is you. I want to recognize who you are and where you come from, because that is what led you to this point today and will be instrumental in the next steps to follow. I want you to know that you are creative, undeniably and unremarkably creative. I've seen your TikToks. You are a savage. You know the rest. More than that, it's not that you've been taught this creativity. It's like you've been born with it. And I, I think that really fosters this entrepreneurial spirit that we see in many of you. I think you are brilliant and talented, and that you are able to achieve anything you put your mind, your mood, and your movement to, if you so choose. I admire your ability to question tradition, not just because you're difficult, but because you're not satisfied with status quo. And unlike many of, of us before you, you have not only embraced change, you have ignited it. And that's so important because I watch you effortlessly adapt to the ever-changing world and the ever-diverse world. I also love how you not only want to be seen, but you want to be heard. In fact, you demand it without asking permission. And I think that is extremely vital in today's climate. Because there are some people beyond Romer that believe or have expectations that you should stay silent and should remain at a standstill at this point right now. But that's because they don't know that you come from such a resilient and strong community, a diamond in the steel, if you will, that your community will support you in both your successes and your setbacks. That your community is only a community by name, but really a family by design, who has raised you to go beyond expectations if you're willing to accept that challenge. Or maybe it's because they do know what type of community that you come from, the power behind your voice and the actions that accompany it. And so I, I hope to offer another suggestion. Don't allow others' low expectations of you become your own. That is not who you are. And so class of 2020, I think this is where I leave you. Uh, because honestly, both you or I won't even remember this speech. Uh, and that's OK. Uh, not to sound. Uh, cliche right now, but I, I do want to give a quote. Uh, it's by a phenomenal woman, Dr. Maya Angelou, so bear with me. Uh, it's something to the effect of, people will forget what you say, people will forget what you do, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And so I hope I made you feel proud of what you've done thus far, but not complacent eager to do extraordinary things. I hope I made you feel appreciated and celebrated. And I hope that I made you feel, most of all, capable. 
capable to immerse yourself in your greatness, especially in times of uncertainty and when things don't go quite as planned, so that you never mistake that hesitancy you may have or that reservation to move forward as wanting to make sure everything is right or that you're prepared. Because spoiler alert, you are. So congratulations, Farrell Era High School, class of 2020. You not only did it, but you are doing it. Tonight, we'd also like to recognize the following students for exceptional achievement this year. And these students will receive these awards, and they are as follows. Student of the Year, Laban Day. Superintendent Special Awards go to Deidre Burks, Tyree Hammonds, Gary Hobson Jr., and Honesty Myers. To all of these students, congratulations. Dr. Adams King, at this time I submit that all of the students from the class of 2020 have fulfilled the PA state requirements for graduation. I ask your approval now that they receive their high school diplomas. And Mr. Fowler, after hearing your statement, it is with great honor and privilege that hearing that the class of 2020, the 117th graduating class of the Farrell Area School District, has fulfilled all requirements as set forth by the Board of Education and by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thereby, we do accept your recommendation and we are now ready to present these diplomas. Our first graduate from the class of 2020, Melvin Avery Hobson, Jr. Melvin will be attending Slippery Rock University in the fall and received a full tuition scholarship on his academics. Melvin also was awarded the Michael Maker Award of $100 and the Strimview Memorial Scholarship of $2,000. Melvin has also earned the Student Achievement Award for $30. Melvin, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Melvin. Our next student of the class of 2020, salutatorian Ronald Shane LaCamera, Jr. Ronald will be attending Till College in the fall and majoring in biology. His full tuition was paid for through his academics, and he is the recipient of the Tom Burns Award for $150, the Rebecca Jones Brish Award for $1,000, and the Student Achievement Award from the Farrell High School for $30. Ronald, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a proud graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Ronald. The next student of the Class of 2020, Laban Mackay Day. Laban will be attending Penn State Shenango and majoring in accounting in the fall. Laban, you are no longer a student of the Fairlarea Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, Laban. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Cameron Marie Gibson. Cameron will be attending Spelman College in the fall and will be having a dual degree in engineering and engineering for computer hardware. Cameron has received quite a few awards, 
Those awards include the Frontiers Club for $500, the Davis Elias Scholarship for $500, the Rebecca Jones Brisch Award for $1,000, and the Shenango Valley Ministerial Scholarship for $500. Cameron will also be receiving the Spelman Institutional Scholarship in the fall. Cameron, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a proud graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Cameron. Our next graduate from the Class of 2020 is Sanaya Marie Thomas. Sanaya will be attending Penn State Shenango in the fall and majoring in nursing. Sanaya has re received the Bresky Scholarship and the Emma DeNoble Award for $500. Sanaya, you are no longer a student of the Fairly Area School District, but a proud graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Sanaya. Our next graduate from the Class of 2020, Kalia Lachey Knight. Kalia will be attending Clary University in the fall and majoring in biology for physical therapy. Kalia is the recipient of the Frontiers Club for $500, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Award for $1,000, she received the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Award for $1,500, the Board of Governors Award from Clary University, totaling $3,800, and the Golden Eagle Award from Clary University, also for $3,000. Kalia, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a proud graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Kalia. Our next graduate from the Class of 2020 is Kyra Monet Crosby. Kyra will be attending Penn State Shenango in the fall and majoring in nursing. She has won many scholarships. Uh, the one award that she did win is the Tom Burns Award for $150. Kyra, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Kyra. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Mercedes Simone Barge. Mercedes will be attending either YSU or IUP in the fall, in the fall that is Youngstown State University or Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and has received scholarships to both colleges. Mercedes, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a proud graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Mercedes. Our next graduate of the Class of 2020, Xavier Nissan Savage. After graduation, Xavier will be attending the workforce. Xavier, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Jasmine Rose May. Jasmine will be attending Youngstown State University in the fall 
and majoring in biology and minoring in pre-veterinarian. Jasmine, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations. Our next student from the class of 2020, Deidre Elisha Burks. Deidre will be attending Butler Community College in the fall and majoring in education and audiology. Deidre, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Deidre. Yay! Our next graduate from the class of 2020 is Andre Lamont Burris. Andre will be attending Newcastle School of Trades in the fall and majoring in welding. Andre, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Andre. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Noah Anthony Klingerman. Noah will be entering the workforce and will be working in construction after graduation. Noah, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Noah. Our next student of the class of 2020, Dennis Lee Coleman. Dennis will be entering the automotive workforce after graduation. Dennis, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Dennis. Our next student from the class of 2020, Skylar Elizabeth Cordray. Skyler will be attending Ohio State University in the fall and majoring in early childhood education. Skyler, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate from the class of 2020. Congratulations, Skyler. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Adrian James Daniels. Adrian will be attending Till College in the fall and majoring in criminal justice. Adrian received an academic scholarship from Till College worth $30,000 each, each year. Adrian, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Adrian. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Sincere Dejon Day. Sincere also graduated from the Mercer County Careers uh, Technical Institute and in auto body, and he will be going straight into the workforce in auto body after graduation. Sincere, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Sincere. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Jakai Lamar Flint.
Jakai, you are no longer a student of the Fair Larry School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Jakai. Our next student from the class of 2020, Brandon Brejean Gilchrist, Jr. After high school, Brandon is, is, has decided to do something with the arts. Brandon, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Brandon. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Tyree Alexander Hammonds. After graduation, Tyree is going to be doing an apprenticeship with the Iron Workers Local Number 3 in Pittsburgh. Tyree, you are no longer a student of the Fair Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, Tyree. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Brian Lamont Hilton, Jr. Brian is planning to attend Youngstown State University in the fall and is the recipient of the Frontiers Club for $500. Brian, you are no longer a student in the Fairly Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, Brian. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Eric Lamont Hobson, Jr. Eric will be attending Clarion University in the fall and majoring in human resources. Eric also received a full scholarship for basketball for Clarion University. Eric, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Eric. The next graduate from the class of 2020 is Gary Lee Hobson, Jr. Gary will be attending Laurel Technical Institute in the fall and majoring in welding. Gary, you are no longer a student of the Fairlight Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Gary. Our next student from the class of 2020 is Lorenzo Matthew Jackson. Lorenzo will be attending Newcastle School of Trades in the fall and majoring in welding. Lorenzo also received the Frank G. Nagy Scholarship for $1,000. Lorenzo, you are no longer a student of the Fairlight Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Lorenzo. Our next student from the class of 2020 is Nakaya Charnay Jefferson. Nakaya will be attending Indiana University of Pennsylvania in the fall and majoring in elementary education. Nakaya also received the Frontiers Club Award, which is for $500. Nakaya, you are no longer a student of the Fair Larry School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. You may now take your tassel.
Congratulations, Nakaya. Our next graduate of the class of 2020, Benjamin Kaheem King. Ben is planning to attend Till College in the fall and majoring in engineering. Ben, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Ben. Our next graduate of the class of 2020, Seth Anthony Coren. Seth, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. You may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, Seth. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Adrian Simone Moore. Adrian will be attending Raphael's Beauty School Culture Incorporated and majoring in cosmetology in the fall. Adrian, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Adrian. Our next graduate from the class of 2020 is Honesty Nicole Myers. Honesty will be attending the Naval Academy. Uh, she has received a post-9-11 GI Bill worth $180,000 towards her schooling. Honesty, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Honesty. Our next graduate from the Class of 2020 is Dwight Eugene Ravenscraft, Jr. Dwight will be attending Till College in the fall and has received a merit scholarship worth $77,000. Dwight, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Dwight. The next member of the class of 2020 is Raymond Lee Raver, Jr. Raymond will be attending Till College in the fall and majoring in criminal justice. Raymond has also received a merit scholarship from Till worth $77,000. Raymond, you are no longer a student of the Fairville Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Raymond. Our next graduate from the class of 2020, Christopher James Wren. Christopher, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Chris. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Deshaun David Richardson. Deshaun will be attending Laurel Technical Institute for welding in the fall.
Deshaun, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Deshaun. Our next student from the class of 2020 is Jalen Dante Russell Eccles. Jalen will be attending Newcastle School of Trades for welding or, electric, or being an electrician in the fall. Jalen, you are no longer a student of the Fair Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Jawan Brandon Samuels. Jawan will be attending Ohio Technical College in the fall and majoring in automotive technology. Jawan, you are no longer a student of the Fair Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Jawan. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Shardell Latissa Stewart. Shardell will be attending Teal College in the fall and majoring in biochemistry and minoring in pediatric care. Shardell, you are no longer a student of the Fair Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Shardell. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Samira Elise Talbert. Samira will be attending Purdue University Global and majoring as a correction officer. Samira, you are no longer a student of the Fair Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Samira. Our next graduate from the class of 2020 is Markel Antoine Talley. Markel will be attending Indiana University of Pennsylvania and majoring in kinesiology, health, and sports science. Markel, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Markel. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Josiah Leon Tarver. Josiah will be attending Teal College and majoring in exercise science, and he will be receiving an academic scholarship in the fall. Josiah, at this time, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Josiah. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Savion Sayer Thomas. Savion will be attending Laurel Technical Institute in the fall. Savion, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Savion. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Milan Lene Wells Coleman. Milan's 
future plans include trying to become a therapist at a school that is undecided at this time? Milan, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Milan. Our next graduate of the class of 2020 is Javier Sache Imani West. Javier is planning to attend Laurel Technical Institute in the fall and majoring in cosmetology. Javier, you are no longer a student of the Farrell Area School District, but a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Javier. Our next student from the class of 2020, Nathaniel Lee Wild. Nathaniel plans on going to trade school and majoring in electrical engineering after graduation. Nathaniel, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Nathaniel. Our last graduate of the class of 2020, Larlena Ann Wilson. Marlena will be attending Laurel Technical Institute in the fall and majoring in veterinarian schooling. Marlena, you are no longer a student of the Fairlie Area School District, but a graduate of the class of 2020. Congratulations, Marlena. 